Hello everyone, my name is John Marisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today everyone, I will be painting an overlooking landscape. So I will just try to paint like a mountain, um, trees or pathway or road, something like that. So it will be um, a little complicated but I know that you can do it also. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe. You have to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed in the screen. You can see the five limit colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're going to paint this painting. Okay, I'm going to start now, and I'm going to, I will start with the sketching first. I have here the rue umber. So I'm going to do. I use this for the sketching. So here I will be adding the, I think here the, or maybe here, the horizon on the center. But this will be an overlooking landscape, everyone, maybe here. Yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, it will be a very, uh, I will try to make the background very misty or something like that. Okay. And here... I will try to put some trees, yeah, big trees here, yeah, it will be covered with uh, some parts there and some, something like that here, so I don't know what kind of trees, but uh, I'll just paint whatever I can. <laughs> okay, so here I will try to put a pathway there, and there will be light here striking on this part. I want this uh, to be, uh, I, will, I will extend the pathway here. There, I, I, I want to see the lights here and here some rocks. There, so I will put some lights here. So everyone, if the background is a little noisy now because I am painting in the afternoon and there are plenty of children playing outside. Okay, so yeah. They are playing now outside. Uh, I have no time <laughs> other time, so I, I paint in the afternoon. And they are very, very noisy outside. Okay, hopefully they are not distracting you. That's why they are distracting me. <laughs> okay, here I will put another tree. It will be two trees here on the sides. I hope the audio is still fine, even if it's noisy outside. Okay, so here. I'll try to put some mountains, but I will try to put a very misty uh, mountain here because, uh, yeah, I'll just try to put a very misty mountain here. I don't want to focus anything on this part, so it will be misty here. And um, here will be a lot of um, darks here, so it will be uh, the dips will be a lot. So, everyone, if the uh, background is very, very noisy. Some afternoon, the children are playing outside. Okay, I want this. I want uh, the, the color to be much uh, purple or orange or something like that. So I have here a little blue and the red. Okay, and then white. Yeah, it's very noisy outside. The world. So we are now in the second step, which is adding the under painting. Yellow and white. So uh, I need to make the background very bright because uh, I want this uh, background here, everyone. I want to make the background a little more uh, bright or something like that. Okay, so it's very really nice see outside. I don't know why I, I didn't did this last night. I should did this last night, everyone. Because the children are really annoying. They are so noisy. They are my neighbors in the apartment. Okay, so here. Okay, so I'm going to make this very very light okay 
Yeah, they are so noisy. I hopefully these children they will sleep. <laughs> okay, so here I will try to paint some purple. So I will try to make some purple. We have here some blue and the red. And then white there. Yeah, I want to put more red on that. But I want this to be really, really misty. This part. Hopefully they are just chickens. Uh, chickens are uh, not annoying. But these children are really annoying. They're so nasty. Okay. So I'm going to put more here. I'm going to put some thing here. Some a little raw umber. Sometimes I cannot stand the noisiness. Hopefully, uh, in the future, everyone I can transfer my studio <laughs> to a much more quieter place. Yeah, because I don't really like noise, noisy place. Okay. So I hope you understand <laughs> this time that my background is really noisy. I don't, I don't like these children and my neighbors. But it's not their fault. They're just playing. Okay, so here I will try to put more. Uh, I will try just try to put uh, misty colors in the background, everyone. Maybe here I will try to put something like this. Also the motorcycles. I don't know, this place is not just for me. Okay. So I will try to make it as a very misty and then here a little light purple then a little more mountains here yeah this uh, part will be the ocean everyone and I can try to put more uh, white and the yellow here so that it will look like there's uh, there's a uh, sun there okay so pull everyone in this. yeah they are so, they're really really nice children So you just have to lay it here on this part, make it better. Okay, and also here. There. Okay, that looks good. Also here, I'll try to blend more. Okay. And then here, I'll try to put a blue, red, and the blue umber. And then blue umber more. So this would be like a big rock here. And then here, I'll try to put a pathway. But later, but I, will try, I will just try to put, but uh, first I will make this very, very right. And this one. Oh, 
okay and here there so we have now the underpainting and i will let it dry first for at least five minutes and i'm gonna turn back adding uh, more details okay everyone so i think the paint's already dry now and i'm going to start adding some more details okay so it's it's quite it's much quieter now compared to uh, a while ago there's no children playing because i just take a rest for more than one hour to to uh, so that uh to make sure that uh there are no children playing outside okay so i'll just try to retouch here especially here i'm gonna make this a uh, solid and then i'll start and maybe i'll start it here so this is a uh, dirt road here so i'll try to put more light raw umber so i have your raw umber and white there So this is a mountain road everyone. Actually I have uh, plenty of tutorials like this but uh, I want to, I like this kind of scene. It's so relaxing, you can see the uh, overlooking view, something like that so it's good. Okay, so I'll just make it a little lighter and make sure to apply the perspective. there so i did first the uh, uh, road and then i'll try to make the background a little more solid colors i'll apply more solid colors there i'm using a smaller brush brand number eight nylon flat brush it's a medium size flat brush make sure to always clean your brush with the with the rug okay i have here the blue and the red to make some purple and then white there it's still so dark i need to make it brighter with a much more red okay this is good and that is still very dark everyone and you can add a little raw umber so that it will become yeah i think this is perfect uh, it's become a little uh, greenish we'll add a little light here more red then white there it's still too I need to add more white everyone I need to adjust everything not just white but also red there at least this part is too bright and then i'm going to add some white i'll make this part 
of the horizon make sure that it's straight everyone I'm gonna put a little yellowish and white there okay so everyone if the background is still nicey I have here the red and the yellow and the white more red I will put more uh, a little orange here because this is a, an afternoon scene or maybe like a sunset or something so I want to put more yellowish there especially in this part okay there okay so maybe here I'll just let it, let it uh, like that so here I'll just try to add more colors in that okay I'll try to use again some purple but I will put red of course red and blue part everyone as solid uh, I think much more blue here yeah. and then white there I'll just make the color much more solid because I think it's not so much I'm gonna put a little rumber to make the color a little more brownish there and then white there but uh, make sure I will make sure that this part be uh, very very bright still bright I'm gonna put more white there okay and then also this one everyone I'll put uh, much more rumber but I will try to make it uh, brighter there And then I will try to mix for an orange, red, and the yellow, yeah, and then white. There, so this part will be a little more orange, everyone, because of the of the sun here. I will try to make the sun on the back of this part, and then it's shining here. That's why it will become much more yellowish. You can see the brightness of the color. Okay.
there at this uh, you can now feel the, the colors and also here everyone the, the feel the heat of the sun and then I will try to put a little uh, sh uh, highlights here uh, a little orange highlights Okay. And also here. Sorry, everyone. A little noise there. Okay. So I'll just try to put uh, some highlights on this mountain, everyone some orange highlights there okay so the, i like now the color so it's so different than my previous uh, paintings here also i don't put more Put more yellow and then white. I'll just make sure that this part looks bright enough. Okay. Just what I see here. Some people are singing. Yeah, motorcycles are very noisy. I don't know what happened to them. Okay, so here. There, so you can see, you cannot see the lights coming from the right side now. So the lights much different than my previous paintings. Okay, so you can now see clearly everyone that uh, the background is very, very, very light. Okay, so I think I'm done with the background. So I will just do like that, everyone. I will not put any um, so much detail there. So I'll just um, be, because I, I want to preserve the lightness of the background. So I will just do like that. I'll try to put here uh, some brightness on this part of the road, everyone. And I have here the yellow and the red. Yeah, I'll make it uh, like an orange. So here. So I'll make it bright everyone first. Before I'm gonna start adding uh, some more brighter colors. Okay. So I'm gonna put some highlights like this. So that means the light is coming from the right side, everyone. There, so we have now the light there. You can, you can see now the clear light source. I also put some rocks there on the, here on this part. So there are a few huge rocks here, maybe this one. I'll try to make it uh, much more orange. Red and the yellow. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. And here run also to put some uh, few rocks. Okay, not just there, but also I will try to put uh, another kind of rock using just a rumber. There. There. Okay. And here, also here, everyone, I'll try to put some rocks. And this will be a rock here. put one tree here but, but later on I'll try to uh, put I'll just make this uh, look better but before that everyone I will try to use this room umber uh, some I'll try to put some road lines or something like that Okay, so we have now some road lines there. I will make it uh, darker. There, okay. Yeah. And then I will try to retouch now, everyone. I will be using a smaller brush. This brush number two, nylon pot brush, and I will mix for orange, yeah, red and the yellow, and then white. So try to make try to use some orange here. there I'll put more uh, brighter color there it's a yellowish there will be some more like an orange with some white yeah there okay so let's get to everyone everything is bright here Here. Uh, I'll try to make uh, more orange, red, and the yellow. There, more yellowish, I think.
Hopefully everyone is not so destructive with the voices on my back on my background. There are really a lot of children now our our new universe. Bear. Okay, so they are very very noisy. Okay, I'll put a little rumber. So I need to make this as look uh, brown, everyone, because uh, the problem with the acrylics, uh, especially if you're using the student grades, uh, it will go down. The colors, when you try, it will just go down, especially the liquid B6, something like that. Uh, some of the, the colors are transparent, mm. so you need to find opaque colors uh, like the PB or something like that. So, this, is, this is my big problem with the uh, student grades. But since uh, most of my viewers are beginners, so I need to use this one because um, I know that uh, you're gonna need a lot of paints, everyone. Okay, so you need to you need to have a lot of pains okay I'm very noisy again those children I don't know where they came from okay there okay I hope you are not distracted because I'm really really distracted <laughs> my god I, I cannot wait to transfer to my studio to other city so I just want to retouch this one so I'm going to try to retouch more Okay. Yeah, so you can see now uh, there's a lot of colors there. Okay. And also here. now I'm going to use purple okay everyone so I'm going to mix for a bluish purple something like that just put more blue and then you can put it here and this part are the dark part usually this part will be like much more bluish you can see the bluish tone there or a purple thing purple color so that you can see uh, I'm doing this one because uh, the color should be much more uh, cold or something because uh, we should combine the hot and the cold colors to use uh, umber and then a little white so it's just a combination everyone but uh, we should not forget that the color here should be warm warm meaning uh, a little orange
there. So here, uh, just do it a little slowly. Okay. And also here. There. And you can put a dark color, everyone. Maybe here you can put the, on the rocks also. Some casted shadow on the rocks. There, something like that. And also here, I'll try to mix. Uh, I'll try to mix um, more bluish, uh, purple, everyone, something like that. I'll put uh, on the shades of the rocks. Maybe a little, uh, I'm gonna put more uh, umber and the blue, and the red, I mean. I'm gonna make it uh, lighter there. There, these are rocks on the side of the road and also here. And then I'll say some rumber. Some shades here, you can put uh, some casted shadows. So I'll put the rumber now again. So slowly everyone, uh, we can create those stones that we need and everything will turn out good. Okay, so we have no beautiful uh, road. So I have here blue under umber. I'll put more red to make it dark. There. I'll put more umber, maybe more blue. There, so at least it's not darker on this part. I'm gonna put more umber. Yeah, maybe I'll just use this uh, 
I told my boys, everyone, uh, I'm going to fill this part. Because this part of uh, plenty of rocks is a rocky road. is dark here I'm going to use this again this color I'm gonna put some dark tones here and then I'll try to put some grasses there because it's just too 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 lonely there's no green so i need to put some greens also so i have here the blue and the yellow with a little red So I can use the tapping technique. try to put more uh, grasses there and then here So here I can make this uh, more grassy and put more grasses. Just use the topping technique, everyone. And then I'll try to put more yellow and then white. I'll try to put more uh, highlights here. There. Just uh, slowly, everyone. Also here. There, as you can see, a little greenish and more yellow. You can just do it a little slowly. So at least you can see a little greenish there, and not just there, but also here. This part will be hit by the lights. From the sun. So the lights coming from the uh, right side, so all the lights, all the highlights will be on the left side. I'm going to put some white. I'm going to make these highlights here much brighter. There. 
Okay, we just do it a little slowly. And I will turn back again a little darker. And I will put it here. The color will be a little bluish. So I can put more. Okay. Yeah. It's now uh, much better. And now I'm excited to put the lights of the tree there, everyone. Yeah, it looks good now. It looks pretty realistic now. I can see some bluish purples shades or a lot of things there okay so now i will start to put uh, one big tree here i think not just one but two so i'll be using uh, the number two flat brush i have here the raw umber the blue and the red Put some blue on the red. Uh, the tree will be a little bigger, everyone. Not just a tree, but also I will put one tree here. I'll put the blue and the red to make it dark, look like black. Okay, so we have now two trees. Okay, yeah, so as you can see everyone, it's very, very contrast. And now I will um, start to put some uh, light colors there, or the background color, which is the, the yellow or the or the three leaves everyone so i'll be using the bristle flat brush number 10 so here yellow with a little red and the blue and then white there and more yellow but they're just tapping technique everyone
the hair. There, you can just put also much more yellowish. Okay, yeah. And then I will start to put some uh, darker or normal greens, everyone. So I'll just use the blue and the yellow. And then I have also a little red. Again, use the, the same brush. red and then yellow there yellow and the blue Okay. There. Okay. Now um, I'm going to put some. I'm gonna put some branches so I will just I use the same uh, color here uh, blue with the red to make some dark colors and the uh, umber okay so this is a good color everyone this is a uh, look like a black but uh, it's not black everyone There, this will, it will be a lot of uh, branches here. So make sure that the branches everyone is smaller, smaller than the than the uh, 
it would be smaller than the uh, than the tree trunk. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Again, I'm gonna put it here. Gonna put some branch. Let me here. And then also here. You can put a lot of brands also. You can put as many as you can. Uh, you do not need to put every branch with uh, three leaves. Some brands have no leaves. looks cute now it looks uh, amazing and I will try to mix for darker greens yellow and the blue with some um, red but I will use now one by one I uh, will use this brush now to create a bigger I mean uh, real leaves there just do it one by one everyone There, okay. There. Okay, this place of rice looking really, really good. It looks also pretty realistic. Even the leaves are not so thick like that, but it looks very good. It looks so hollow on that part. So, yeah, it looks good. Just so simple and looking good. I'll put more darker color. And maybe here I'll put more dark. there okay and I will try to put a lighter color now uh, let's use yellow and white I'll put it here okay 
Let's do it one by one, everyone. Okay. try uh, more plain white and also put it here to make this place look more glowing everyone and also here just uh, that's everyone you can create those uh, uh, those uh, those uh, textures that will make it look like realistic also uh, just like an abstract you're making an abstract I'll put white here there and now I'll try to put some highlights so I'll be using a much more orange there and then white so it's like an orange everyone and I will make it uh, the highlights of that tree there I'll put it here as the highlights okay so here I can put I can just put lines here Actually, we can use a very bright white for this part. Okay. Now I'll be using a little bigger brush here. I will try to use some purple blue and the red blue and the blue blue and the red I mean and then a little white put it here there just a small purple everyone blue is purple you can so because this is this are the bouncing light coming from the left side lights from the from the pathway or road or small lights there Okay, and then you can also use some raw umber with a little white. There. Okay, so yeah, it's so just very very simple, but the impact is really really good everyone especially the lights it looks pretty good the light is just so simple but it's just uh, amazing okay I am now in the process of retouching and I'll just put something few there some lights I want to exaggerate the lights there so yeah, maybe I will put some some more highlights and thing and I think I will be done I will finish okay using this uh, flat brush I will put the uh, lights there uh, yellow and uh, white with a little red so it's uh, just a little light brown everyone and you can put it here so that uh, this place will become 
much more uh, contrast you can see much more contrast there there and also that place I try to put some highlights here there okay now the last part i think i will try to put some birds there flying and then i will be finished okay so i will try to find my brush my beautiful brush okay so here so here everyone just plain white try to put something here flying there okay that's the first one this is the first second one okay there and then maybe the third one here a little farther okay so i think that's it everyone so it's just uh, i think it's just very easy painting and everyone can also do it and it's, it will not be just complicated but the entire result is so very so good and realistic so i recommend this to everyone you can also try this one and i am happy with the entire result okay okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors with palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.